breathtaking Swiss mountains of Saint Moritz, sailors raise suspended in the air. We got a lot of people selling here, coming from uh, the Olympic Games, from 49ers, we got medalists, we got world champion from 470, we got a lot of people who do that for just for fun and having, taking just a, a week of holiday each year and they come and they will race the Europeans, the worlds. So we got um, a field of every kind of sailor. Moth class has been going for nigh on 90 years. Um, the only thing that's kind of consistent is it's 11 foot long. Uh, in 2004 we developed hydrofoils um, and in 2005 people put that into production. That's pretty much why you see nearly 90 boats here today. People are able to buy this technology um, and their way into three-dimensional sailing really. Two of the favourites, Abora Gulari from the USA and Australian Nathan Outridge, who's the current 49er world champion. I think it's a great venue for, for the moth and um, you know hopefully the conditions stay nice for the rest of the week and we get some good racing. I haven't been on my moth basically all summer and uh, now that I've gotten about five days on, underneath me I feel like I'm, I'm getting quicker. Uh, I know Nathan's pretty much a professional dinghy sailor so he gets to sail his boat a lot more than I do, but it's it's fun. It's it's like it's the he's a great person to sail against, and he is regarded as the best. So I I, I love it when I can take some races from him. One thing that's key in a moth is that most people, after a while, learn how to jibe them, and you know the difference in doing a good or a bad jibe, so long as you stay on the foils, is very minimal. But being able to do foiling tacks is um, where the big differences are at the moment. And, um, especially on a venue like this where you're doing you know 10 tacks a beat if you can you know keep it on the foils every tack you're going to gain hundreds of meters on those who, who can't. In an 11 foot <laughs> foiling dinghy Nathan has added something you wouldn't expect. Crank the tunes. Clearly tell us why you play music Nathan. Music just helps me relax. So I like listening to music while I'm sailing and you know, when you're by yourself, it's a bit boring so you have some good music to listen to and it just keeps it simple. What's your favourite tracks? It's got some dance tracks on there at the moment. I had a bit of Metallica and stuff before. It just sort of depends on what mood I'm in. And the playlist Outridge decided to listen to in the opening races obviously put him in a good mood. Outmanoeuvring the other competitors and more importantly, proving faster than his nearest rival, Bora. Nathan is now four points ahead of me. I will, assuming that we keep flip-flopping places like this, um, I'll gain a couple points on him when we get another drop. But it's uh, really, really close in between the two of us, and it's and there's some there's some there's a, now as much as you can have epic battle on sailing. We're, we're duking it out a lot. It's fun. The battle continued with Bora pushing Outridge, looking for opportunities to steal valuable points. Then one came when Outridge had a problem with his foil. Yeah, it's really close. I got a first in the first race, he got a second, and in the last race, uh, we both had pretty average starts, and he sort of was all over me, so I had to fight back from about 10th or so and ended up getting up to, to third. I just passed one boat on the finishing line, so you know, it's, it's good, it's still really close, and I had a problem with my foil, but I've uh, been able to fix that now, so hopefully. Uh, you know, I'll be able to go out with a little bit more speed this race and um, hopefully try and get one up on him. And that's exactly what he did. Beneath the snow-capped peaks, the Australian 49er world champion sailed a near-perfect regatta to win the Open European Moth Championships. It's a great feeling, you know, I raced against Bora and uh, you know, obviously everyone else at the last event at the Worlds last year and to, to go one up um, and to win the event is, is very pleasing. Um, best decision I've ever made I reckon, you know, to come here and to be able to, to race against the best people in the moth class on an awesome venue and um, you know, it's, it's perfect preparation for the Worlds coming up and um, I'm just, you know, had a great time this week. 